Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're seeing the return of solar flares and taking a close look at the sunspot group responsible. We've got coronal holes, tropical storm updates, James Webb Space Telescope, the Atlantic currents, and solar forcing of mortality of different kinds. We're here starting with the last 24 hours on our star, and you're going to see small flashes and pops near center disk from the active region turning towards the central heliographic longitudes. There haven't been any CMEs of note produced, but that's the direction it is heading. Two M-class solar flares in the last day, an M3 and an M2, both came from the growing sunspot group near the middle. The long, extending train of umbral cores there below the big one, and there are at least two delta spots within it. Beta Gamma Delta Magnetic Classification here. We're going to watch the flaring here in 131 angstroms, heavily dimmed. Here you see the brief flashes of the small impulsive flare events. It is trending toward bigger flares if it can keep growing. Big if. We'll keep watching. Let's also take a closer look at the coronal hole that we've been tracking since it emerged at the limb. That's a big boy, transequatorial. We'll face Earth tomorrow and Wednesday, and its solar wind will arrive as we enter the weekend. Quick look at the tropics up next. Dexter heading up into the North Atlantic away from land. Few other systems we're going to watch. And the East Pacific developments are still tracking westward and avoiding landfall there too. Remember, this month I'm expecting the larger seismicity to jump to this eastern side of the Pacific as well as the energetic patterns change. First up in the science articles, we have eye candy. This is the Hubble Deep Field. And then we're going to contrast this with the same region scoped by the James Webb Space Telescope. It's not just that there are more objects found, especially in the deepest regions of the image background, but the dusty infrared halos of the galaxies are seen as well, much greater and brighter than Hubble could see them. That's infrared power versus the visible and UV eyes of Hubble. Up next, folks, on a live show this spring, someone asked about the AMOC, the Atlantic Heat Transport Currents, and their shutdown pace. I said it's usually mid to late summer when we get the research on that front, and here's the first one I've seen. Sadly, it is embargoed until January, but this definitely marks the start of when warm season studies on the ocean currents come out. Eyes on the journals as everyone who is going to update probably is going to do so in the next few months. Lastly, folks, solar forcing of death. Interestingly, they found the geomagnetic storms, the KP index, was the most telling factor. Increases in respiratory death were significant. Same with cardiovascular death and even non-accidental deaths, suicide and murder, all going up during the solar storms. All-cause mortality rises during geomagnetically disturbed periods, which is about the 800th reason why we're not thrilled about the ongoing magnetic pole shift, leaving Earth more vulnerable to the sun. Folks, this afternoon we're doing a private live stream for the members of Observer Review. That's our e-magazine. New issue comes out every month and a special issue as well. This month's special is the private live show. Details coming to your email if you are a member of Observer Review, including the upload link if you miss the live show so you can watch it later. We are now five days from the next major prepper day at Observer Ranch, Pole Shift Conference later this month, another one next month along with Founders Weekend, Colorado Prepper Expo in October, you should think about staying with us at the ranch for that one, Pole Shift Conference in November, plan your trip, book your stay at ObserverRanch.com. The link to join Observer Review is below as well. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here but right now it's 5 30 a.m in the new valley of the sun eyes open no fear be safe everyone